What's up guys? Your local procrastinator here checking in after 12 o'clock after a super successful stream for the first time. Um, I felt like a lot of a lot of people were kind of taken off and like stopped streaming because you know 10 11 o'clock on West Coast time normal people go to bed and all the degenerates are left up to play and they don't have anyone to play in Smash, so they were coming to my stream, which was fucking sweet. Except for the fact that I had to turn a few of them away. Because, like, the list that I had already extended to about 12 o'clock, which was insane. I just had, like, tons of new people, tons of chat, and it's been the first time I've had a super successful stream like that in a long time. Where, it, like, I got seven new viewers today, or followers today, just from playing. Not even from, like, social media, what you would call it, follow for follow or anything. They just, like, came in. They liked my energy and they followed, which is a super, like, it's a breath of fresh air because it means I'm doing something right. And it's good to have some reiteration that what I'm doing is right. It's great. I fucking love it. And I appreciate every person that comes out. Even, I think it was Alan came out and said, what up, before just dipping. Is that face? Alan, come back. But, um... Today was a day. Drove to Kamloops and back. Took me like 10 hours overall until I like signed out and got everything ready and whatnot. Uh, and I gotta do Whistler tomorrow, so more driving. I don't really care though. Today was, or yesterday was leg day, so like uh, having time for my legs to recuperate where I don't have to actually use them today and I could just like stretch them outside the truck was super nice, even though they're still really sore. But the road of self improvement is not uh, without pain. Also, there's a super cool job fair going on on Tuesday, and I talked to the bosses of my bot or the boss of my bosses, and he said he's going to guarantee me the day off uh, because he realizes that this could be a really good career option for me and possibly set up my life for the rest of my life. And he doesn't want to be in the way of that. He like, you can tell he's like a father. Like he, I sat him down and I like talked to him about it, and he he got like this fatherly look, and he's like. No, I will take care of that for you. Don't worry. And it actually, like, meant more than anything else that he actually cared. He didn't, like, he didn't care that I was leaving. He cared that I was hopefully moving on to greener pastures. And he knows he's going to be there if it doesn't pan out. So, like, things are looking way up. 16 thumbs in the sky. And let's hope that this momentum carries on. So, um, until next time, friends. Bye-bye.